Hey everyone, Victor Salazar here. Um, wishing everybody a happy Sunday. Just got done watching the Bulls game, and of course, it wasn't a um, an outcome that we all wanted, but nonetheless, it was still a very good game. It was very exciting, and um, yeah, it is what it is. Anyways, um, many of you may have seen this picture up on the internet um, or wherever you look up your DJ stuff. It's uh, this cartoon, which is pretty much self-explanatory. Uh, talking about the sync button and um, there's a lot of uh, debate on it whether it's something that should be used or or not um, I think of it as a crutch uh, in my own personal opinion because um, once you get used to it you you uh, you rely on it and then when you go somewhere where they have other types of equipment you're not going to be able to handle yourself correctly only because you have a sync button um, it is what it is. I mean, for beginners, it's it's actually a, a good thing. Uh, so you can get an idea of how your mixes would sound or should sound uh, if mixed correctly. Um, but I think once you, you get the idea, then maybe you should try on your own. Um, and there, the only reason I bring this up is that not every place is going to have the same gear um, or like in this cartoon. I mean, something could happen to your laptop or something could happen to your controller where it just fizzles out and what are you going to do you know and then if you have uh, a thumb drive granted some of the equipment now you can just put the thumb drive in there and, and mix but you're using cd players and um and they may not have a sync button you have to pitch up and down to make it happen for each song that that uh that goes that goes on so it's just something to think about um if you have friends go over to their house and and ask them, hey, can um, can I mess around with your equipment? Let me, let me try something new. Let them try your equipment out, or or even maybe go to your local dealer and and ask them, hey, can I mess around with these uh, CDJs or controllers or whatever? Get to get a chance to learn everything if you can. If there's vinyl, go learn on that too. I mean, you just never know what what you're gonna be stuck with at any given night. Uh, obviously there's a standard at most places where they use uh, the Pioneer CDJs some places are putting in controllers I mean you just never know you just gotta be ready and be confident in doing what you do um, you know like I said earlier I mean using that sync button is something that can be useful at the beginning when you're learning but don't use it forever I mean because one day you're gonna be put on the spot and what if you freak out and you're not ready and it could be pretty embarrassing um, I've met a couple people that do use the sync button and um, I was thinking at first man they're cheating whatever but then I was listening to the combinations that they were putting together and it was pretty original pretty original stuff granted the, the equipment was doing it for them but um, at the same time they had very original ideas and there's just something that you get when you mix two tracks together and you're you're doing it you're making it happen and um the crowd just goes nuts for what you do so it's, i mean just something to think about it's a bigger rush than than uh, letting the equipment do it for you when you do it by yourself that's all i'm saying so Anyhow, um, make it a great week, and if you guys are doing any gigs, um, keep them dancing, keep them jamming. Remember, music is life, and without it, life is boring. Take care.